Hi and welcome to how to cut a bell pepper and uh, today we are using a 7 inch shun chef's knife and just to go over it again for those of you who haven't watched a video before we're going to hold our knife in a pinch right above this bolster here which is the large part we're going to pinch here and then wrap the next three fingers around the handle like this we want to make sure we don't put our fingers up like this because what happens when you do that is it takes away from the preciseness of your knife and lends a lot of stress to your wrist and elbow so try your very best not to put your finger up like this. Now, this is uh, kind of a weirdly shaped oblong bell pepper, which is great because it shows you how you can cut it for multiple things. And the first thing that we're gonna do is make a C with our do non-dominant hand and turn it over to make a claw. Claws are what protect our fingernails. We guide our knife with our knuckles like so. We're gonna take the top and the bottom off. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a slit in the side here which then allows us to take all of the ribs and the seeds out at once. <clears throat> and, like I said, that was a weirdly shaped one, but see all the seeds and the ribs came out at the same time. And then you have this really nice rectangle that is much easier to cut uh, uniform things out of. Now the top and the bottom I will still use for things like chili or just to saute in my omelet in the morning or my potatoes or something like that. But it's really difficult to cut something like this into a really nice square. So now we have cut this in half and I'm gonna show you just a medium dice, a julienne and a brunoise. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter to make it easier for myself. And if I'm doing like a stir fry or something like that, I'll take out some of the ribs, which taste a little different and they also aren't the same color, so I like to just have the red. And uh, when we're cutting peppers, you need to have the flush side up, not the down like this. Uh, if you do this, it's really bad for your knife and can dole it pretty quickly. So for Julienne, we're gonna hold our knife uh, like so. We're gonna use that forward sliding motion like this. We're gonna protect our fingernails with our claw hand like so. And your knuckles are what guide your knife blade. So we're gonna start from the first third of our knife and go forward in a forward sliding motion to cut strips. Like I said, this is really nice for something like a stir fry. Okay, so there's our, that's called Julienne. And then with this guy, I'm gonna show you how to dice and also how to brunoise. So for dice, we're just gonna do in that forward sliding motion again. And then what I do is I'll make sure that all of the flesh sides are up and I'll just go right back across to make it into nice squares. So all of my squares are about the same size. This would be a small dice. And then a brunoise is a very small about 16th inch cube that you use really for things like garnish. So I'm gonna make sure I've got a nice flat piece and I'm gonna hold my knife parallel to my board like this. And then with a sawing motion, I'm gonna make sure that I just take out all of the flesh that's not that bright, bright red. And I want this pretty thin here. So I'll take out a little bit more. And it helps sometimes if you back away and kind of look at this a little bit farther down so you can make sure that your knife is parallel to your cutting board and you're not going down or up, you know, because obviously you don't want to cut your hand. We're going to turn it to the side and we're going to use that forward sliding motion again to cut it into really, really thin strips. And then we're just going to turn it to the other side get all of my strips in a row and then we're going to cut it again in a very very small cube and this is just really pretty to put on top of things like sauteed spinach or sushi or also um, maybe like some roasted asparagus or something like that so here's what brunoise looks like it's a very very small cube all right and that concludes how to cut a bell pepper